my first tip would be be structured in your approach to brainstorming. You need to think first of the marking scheme, then think about all your activities that you've done that fits into them, then think about writing. Doing it in that order always gives you a better statement. My second tip is that for each experience that you talk about, link it back to medicine, always. This is a medical school personal statement. So don't tell us that you're the captain of a football team, but not talk about the teamwork skills that will help you as a doctor that are related to that. Or don't tell us about an experience with a patient but not mention the empathy that you felt and why that's important in medicine, for example. Always, always link it back to medicine, either to your motivation or to a skill you developed or to something you learned about the profession. Now, the final tip I have is arguably the most important. I would recommend you get people who do not know you to read your personal statement. It's multiple people who do not know you to read your personal statement. Now, why would that be important? Well, if you give your personal statement to your parent or your sibling or a teacher who knows you very well, there are parts of what you've written that will make sense to them because they know the story already or because they know you and they know what you mean. They know the way you speak. If you give it to one of your friend's parent who may not know you as well or an uncle that you don't see as often or an MSite guide, what we see is something written without any context of the person. And that really helps you see if the way you're expressing yourself is clear, something that someone who knows you well won't always be able to pick up. So try and find people who do not know you very well and see if the way you wrote your story makes sense to them.